begin end or fork join block is declared as a automatic the variable will be reinitialized each time the block is entered okay uh, suppose we are declaring one variable as a automatic within a begin end or fork join uh, blocks okay in that case what will happen uh, whenever it enter into that block again it will be reinitialized yeah uh, this is simply nothing but uh, whenever that uh, block is triggered then the um, runtime memory will be allocated for that uh, variable but if we declare it as static that is a static memory location static static means memory is allocated for that memory. dedicated memory for that one Mentally even if uh, there is a change or not change mm. the memory is allocated uh, there uh, you can find uh, the wastage of memory we are not using uh, utilizing that to my knowledge i'm telling next coming to system verlog in system verlog what will happen inline initialization is before time zero if you are initializing like that in system verlog mm. those things will be executed before the time zero simulation time i mean uh, simulation time okay so what's wrong with this program if you look at uh, this program this is a very log uh, program 2001 okay so we can declare reset as a zero here mm. now always at passage of clock negage of reset n if a negative of reset n is occurring means a count value will be assigned to zero mm. otherwise the count will keep on increment right so what is the wrong in that same thing non determinism static compile time casting uh, in uh, casting there are two types are there uh, dynamic casting and uh, static time Sta static casting uh, static casting in the sense that uh, we can say it as uh, compile time casting also that means uh, if you look at uh, these uh, examples you will get that one cast operators first uh, cast operator is nothing but this one tick casting an expression to a data type first example 7 plus int of tick inside the bracket we are having 2 cross 3 mm. so cast result of 2 cross 3 to an integer mm. what is that int tick that is that a directive yeah that is a directive so what it will do what it will do means int tick tick yeah and the compile time only it will assign that one this is a com compiler directive simple na no? yeah, casting an expressions vector size uh, first we have seen the data type casting an expressions data type casting an expression vector size what is that means uh, we are casting to 17 mm -hmm. for example cast operation result to 17 bits wide after the uh, end of the result it will have the 17 bits that uh, well whether it will take the msb or uh, lsb of course lsb is expected not getting suppose 32 bits are there okay so my result may be of uh, 20 bit okay 32 bit are there n minus n is 34 samjho right then uh, we will get 34 32 bits okay, okay. but it should be reduced to 17 bit wide according to the directive right so whether it will take from the lsb 17 bits or whether it will take from the so, uh, lsb lsb next uh, casting an expressions si uh, signedness hmm. we can may uh, cast with respect to sign or unsigned also so what we are doing here here why is there so this is a compiler directive uh, operator so signed the result will be of signed that's right second type of casting is dynamic casting this dynamic casting will happen during the run time okay that's what uh, the expression to be cast will always be converted during the run time uh, the keyword for this uh, dynamic casting is dollar cast so dollar cast inside uh, this uh, curly brackets we have to mention destination variable and the source expression so this is a syntax for this dynamic casting 